welcome back again to my channel. Thank you for coming back again. Um, after my last video, it's nice to kind of get back into a routine of trying to do weekly videos. So I hope you're enjoying watching them because I'm actually enjoying filming them. Um, I'm a bit worried about them because I have very limited skill set when it comes to YouTube. Um, I'm not very good at filming, editing, or anything without Joe. So I'm very much relying on him. But hopefully, you can bear with me and. Hopefully my videos will get better over time. But anyway, today I am filming an everyday makeup video because, not because it's been massively requested or anything like that, I just thought it'd be quite a nice, easy, not easy, it's not really easy, quite a nice film video to film. Um, my everyday makeup is quite standard, it's not very exciting, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway and hopefully you'll enjoy it and maybe it'll inspire you to try some new products too. So let's get going! Cool, so first things first. Um, the first thing I use is this primer water from Smashbox. Um, I never really used to use primer, I was kind of a bit dubious as to why, why I bothered or what the point of it was, but I started using this in the summer and it's really, really good. It kind of really refreshes the skin and makes it feel nice and even and yeah, I'm not sure what else. It keeps my makeup on, I don't know if that's just I'm using their products, but it's really good and I use this just all over my face to kind of set the base. So. Yes, the next thing I move on to is this Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's like the, the compact version. Oh my god, it's really messy. Don't judge. But um, this is really good. I used Double Wear for a really long time and then I kind of came out of the habit of using it because I wanted something a little bit lighter. But I think it's such a good winter foundation because it covers up any redness and just allows you to kind of do what you want all day. Run for as many buses or tubes as you want to without kind of breaking into a red sweaty mess. So I've been using this, I love the fact that it's travel and compact and you can just put it in your bag but I've been using this with the Real Techniques foundation brush which, oh expert face brush, not the foundation brush but you know that's what I use it for so that's what I'm going to call it. Now once that's all buffed in you'll have a nice shiny face like this. I'm going to be using my Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS which is amazing. I know a lot of people use this but I use it in the shade like upside down Chantilly, well I should say that in a sexy accent, but no I just use this um, kind of all over my face really or where I've got any redness or dark spots or blemishes and I kind of dab that on just using the applicator it comes with and then I buff it out using the Rodeal Highlight Brush which obviously I don't use it for highlighting but it's a really good little, it's kind of like got a really blunt end and the brush is quite stubby, <laughs> not a technical term but it's just a really good kind of dense brush I suppose that you can just kind of buff in concealer really easily with so I use that to buff it all in and make sure it's all blended because it just does a better job than my fingers really and yeah it's a really really good little brush. So once doing all of my face and having a nice pale face like this I go straight on to my powder had to think about that then, it's powder. Um, I've been using the Pixi Flawless Finishing Powder in Translucent. Um, again, it's a little, little cute travel compact, very well loved. Um, but because I've lost my powder brush, I've been using my blush brush because I'm a bit useless and I can't maintain a makeup kit apparently. So I just take some swirls of this. I kind of put it all over my face instead of just in the t-zone or in certain areas because I have quite oily skin so I tend to get a bit shiny throughout the day so I try to just apply it everywhere, not a really thick coat of powder, I don't want like a flower face or something but just kind of cover it all over with this brush quite delicately and that usually keeps me through the, root, the rest of the day. And this is the point where I add some colour to this pale Casper like face. I've been using this Tom Ford bronzer in the colour Terra. Um, it's like this, ignore the state of it, I've taken it everywhere with me, but it's amazing. Um, I've just realised that I haven't actually got my bronzing brush. So again, this I'm going to be using this <laughs> blush brush again because, you know, it, it covers all bases and that is great promo. Um, but I just use this, so I use like a kind of a very fluffy brush for this because I don't really want to look too bronzed or glowy, as you can tell I'm the palest person. Now for blush, I've been loving this Olivia Palermo Fisciate and um, blush which is in the colour Seaside Park. It's kind of like a double, kind of, oh my god look at the state of it. <laughs> this is it's also quite well loved but it's 
got my initials on it, but let's just take a moment for that. But it's got two colours, it's got like a bronzing, bronzy kind of colour, like a pinky shade, and I kind of use the pink shade to blush, and I also use my Zoeva Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush for this part, and that's what I use for my blush essentially. And I just kind of sweep it over the apples of my cheeks quite delicately. This is quite a pigmented blush, so it has to be quite delicate because you can go from looking healthy to very, very, very rosy and a bit hot. It's eyeshadow time! And for eyeshadow, I kind of, for a day to day look, I go quite subtle, so I like kind of rose gold, kind of golden, very pale, shimmery colours, if that makes sense. I like quite simple colours, but I like a bit of shimmer because I think it helps when, you, when I do a cat eye to kind of make everything pop, <laughs> per se. But I love the Vintage Round Palette by Charlotte Tilbury. There's four colours in it, which is really good for if you're doing shadow looks and smoky looks, I mean, this is a shadow. Um, but I use the kind of prime colour, which is a really kind of delicate rose gold colour. But obviously, I just use it everywhere, and that's what I do. I also use this double duo, double duo. I only need to use, it, use that once. Duo from and other stories, which is quite similar to the Charlotte Tilbury, but it's a tiny bit more pigmented with the darker shade. So I use that kind of on the edge if I'm going for something a little bit deeper during the day. Then I go straight on to eyebrows. Um, for my brows, I use two products, essentially. I use the Tom Ford Brow Sculpting Pencil in Espresso, which is potentially a little bit dark for my eyes, but, you know, it does the job, and I love the kind of angle on the brush, and not the brush, the kind of pencil. Um, it just really, I mean, I've got quite thick brows that don't really need shaping, but it just kind of follows the natural arch of my eyebrow, which is great. I then use the L'Oreal mm, Brow Artist Gel Sculpting thing. I don't know, I literally have used this so much that everything on the brush and the packaging, the brush, the packaging has come off, so I have absolutely no idea what this product's called except for the fact it's in medium dark, which I could have probably told you, but yeah, it's kind of like a gel kind of arrangement. But I just kind of, after I've filled in the brows with my Tom Ford pencil, I kind of go over this with the brush and just kind of keeps them in shape all day, which is really good. That's why I love it so much because I literally use it every single day. Even if I'm not filling in my brows, I like to just sweep it over them so they don't become unruly. So, back onto eyes. Um, I use the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen Liquid Liner, which has got two little ends. One's a little thicker. Little? One's a little thicker, one's a little thicker than the other end, so one's quite good for precision flicks and one's good at just kind of sweeping over the lid. Um, this is probably one of my favourite liners because it literally lasts all day. It sounds like it's a video like sponsored by John Ford, but there's so many amazing products that have just stayed in my collection since I've acquired them. But this is a really, really amazing eyeliner, so I use that for my flick on my top. And then for the waterline, I've been using this Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Liner, which is just like a pencil. Um, and I've had this for ages, and I just kind of fill in the waterline with this, which you probably don't have to do, but I've literally done it since I was about 16. It's like the only makeup look I can master. So I just do both of those steps, and I try and not mess up the flick. So I use the thick line for the top and the smaller little brush for the flick, just to kind of help with precision because it's quite a lengthy process. Mascara next and to kind of finish everything up I use a mascara like I just said. Uh, my two favourites are probably the Maybelline Lash Sensational and the Shoulder Kai which sounds very flash which it is. Faux Longest Lash Mascara. I, I'm rubbish at names. But these are my two favourites. This one is definitely a bit more expensive. Um, I was very kind of sentence to try, but it is amazing. It's one of my favourite mascaras. It's got rose oil in it. I think it smells like rose as well, so it smells great, which is such a weird feature to have on a mascara because you're like, hey, you smell my lashes. But that is such a great lengthening mascara and it's never clumpy and it's got such a great brush on it. But this one's also really good and it's a lot cheaper if you're after something more on a budget. But um, today I'm going to be using the Maybelline one, but I thought I'd mention this because I do use this on a day-to-day -day basis as well. Um, but this Maybelline one is just really good at thickening the lashes, they look really fluttery, 
and I don't usually put on my bottom lashes which I think is quite weird for a lot of people because I know everyone's very much like top and bottom but I always get a bit worried they look a bit spidery which is probably because I need a smaller brush but yeah I just sweep on a couple of coats of this to my top lashes maybe a tiny bit to my bottom if I've got the patience and steady enough hand so yeah I just get straight on with that so do two coats two. and yeah that's pretty much what I do for my lashes and last but not least, I go to my lips, um, go to my lips, um, I use the Paul and Joe um, Moisture Lip Treatment as a balm because this is amazing stuff, it's just kind of just a clear standard lip balm but it's so nourishing and it really really helps kind of really dry lips, especially this time of year. And then I also use their lip liner which is two shades, it's got like a lighter kind of more blush kind of shade and a peachier shade at the other end and I just kind of fill in my lips sometimes using this it's not all the time but if they're kind of a bit chapped or have been a bit uneven in colour is that a weird thing to say yeah but I use this just to add a bit of colour and if I'm using like a lip gloss over the top it just sets a nice tone and a nice base so they're the two products I use and also the packaging is so beautiful I know that it's what's inside that counts especially with makeup and people more so with people <laughs> the packaging on all Paula Joe products is amazing and it's so pretty and that is kind of my everyday makeup um, I know it's not the most exciting and some of you are probably sitting there cringing thinking you should not use that for that that's not being used properly but I know I'm not a makeup artist or I'm not a beauty guru I just I have a bag of stuff and I like, try and get it all onto this to look half decent so it's just quite an easy look I've been doing cat eyes for ages so that's kind of my standard makeup look I hope you enjoyed it and it wasn't too rubbish um hopefully if you enjoyed this I can do some more tutorials or more videos but let me know in the comments what you thought and give it a big thumbs up because that would mean a lot and I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching bye, -bye.